what's going on you guys and welcome back to another video i want to talk about the narcissistic toxic energy and the effects it can leave on your life your family life your home life your everyday life when a spirit shows you who someone really is please believe it don't ignore the signs Many of us have been blessed with the spirit of discernment. But we still choose not to believe what God is showing us. And y'all, I got to tell you, when I was driving home from work today, I just thought to myself how much better my life has become since I ended the toxic friendship with my uh, narcissistic co-worker. And even though I didn't receive the good news that I wanted today in regards to my transfer, I can still honestly say it feels good to know that I still have favor upon my life. And of course, you all know that I still work with the narcissist. And not a day goes by that I'm not wearing the whole armor of God, especially knowing that she's always plotting vengeful attacks upon me so i'm the type of person that i'm i'm just so into things that has happened in the world like i'm into random things and when i get into things i like to go deeper into learning more of what really happened or what caused it and you know cause and effect just everything about whatever it is that i'm into at that time or that I'm you know doing some research on and one of the things that I learned about was um it happened in Ukraine Soviet Union back in April of 1986 there was an accidental nuclear explosion that wiped out the entire city of Chernobyl and I first learned of Chernobyl by the movie once I seen, you know, the movie advertising and everything, I was like, I want to see that. And then once I seen the movie, I started to do my research and read up on it and everything like that. Because I don't remember learning about Chernobyl in school. I believe as of today, over 40 something people died from the um, radiation syndrome. Because in the movie, they're, the movie is like a horror film. Like it's a true story, but of course they turned it into a horror film. Or sci-fi, I guess, or whatever. And it's showing people being in a state of deformity after they remain, you know, living in a city. They stayed there even after they evacuated. And even to this day, they are still, like, people still live there. But like I say, I believe over 40 something people died from their radiation syndrome the toxins and it is estimated that like 4,000 people may die in the near future now that was last updated online as of april 26 2018 now that's like guesstimated amount 4,000 that may die from the um explosion as a result of, you know, the, the poisoning that got in the people's system. And it caused, you know, deformity in the, in the unborn babies. I mean, just go look it up. Go look up Chernobyl. So this April 2019 will be 33 years since the Chernobyl disaster. So why am I talking about Chernobyl? Well, I'm trying to do a comparison i'm trying to get you to understand how toxic energy spreads and i hope this don't seem lame you know like a lame example or whatever kind of corny but please just try to you know understand what it is i'm doing here i'm just trying to get you to understand how toxic energy spreads and how it can leave a negative effect on your life if you know, just leave untreated like anything that's left untreated, you know, that's 
that's not good for your, your health. What you want to do is treat it so that you can give well. But if left untreated, it's going to get worse. So, and I mean, it's just as simple as that. Now, this might be like a bad example because Chernobyl, that was a tragic accident that, you know, the residents in that city, they was not expecting that to happen. However, those who survived were given a choice. They were given a second chance to live far away from that toxic area. But as crazy as it may sound, it's true. It is true that some of them chose to return and live near the affected area. And as of October of 2018, approximately 150 people still live in Chernobyl Diary. I'm, I'm sorry, in Chernobyl. I'm thinking of Diary because that's the name of the movie, Chernobyl Diary. And this is where the disaster happened back in 86. As of last year, 150 people live there. Still live there. <laughs> and it is illegal to live there and it is absolutely unsafe to live there. But this is, you know, this is what they choose to do. And in this video, I compare Chernobyl to toxic people and negative energy that they carry. The toxic narcissist in particular. Another thing I wanted to talk about is how toxic people can affect your personal life. Your personal life with your family. Because we have to be careful of who we allow around our immediate loved ones. Some people just... They don't belong in our lives, let alone our children's lives. And this is why I don't apologize for being the private person that I am. No matter how long I've known someone, I just don't use the word friend too loosely for different reasons. But mainly because, you know, I've always, I just always been that way even before the narcissist came in my life. But see, because that that give people like the assumption that they are are entitled to certain areas of your life and that they can come and go as they please. And once they become comfortable enough to do so, they'll find themselves getting more acquainted with your close immediate family members. And we have to be careful of who we allow in our lives because of that. I mean, we must keep in mind that the negative energy that we let around us, like just energy, period, that we let around us. If we bring that home with us to our loved ones, it can leave a long-lasting negative effect in your household. Because now you brought this in your house. So, you know, the negative person, they don't necessarily have to be in the company of your family. Just the energy that they leave on you from you being around them long enough. You can bring that in your house and it can get on your family. And so now you got like this toxic energy in your house. And your life and your family life, it's just gone on a downward spiral. All because of the toxic people that you associate with. Talking about financial hardship, sleep deprivation, depression, worrying, a lack of nourishment. You know, you're not eating right. You don't sleep well. You're just bothered by everything. Your appearance, you're not keeping up with your appearance or your hygiene. Negative energy can affect us in more ways than one in a really, really bad way. And I feel like a lot of us, like we've grown up, we've memorized prayers that we were taught as children. So we repeat those prayers until we become adults. But see, the devil, the devil know those prayers as well along with scriptures that are in the Bible. 
Hell, the devil's sitting in church on Sundays, right next to the members. And know the the Bible from front to back, from back to front, better than some of the members. But I said all that just to say this. Until we are given the, you know, until God bless us with that spiritual gift of the sermon, we will continue to see things as we want to, as the normal, as opposed to what's really going on around us. Because, see, we've been given, like, if we've been given a choice or a second chance, we should be grateful that we have the power to see more clearer and to be more aware of what's going on in and around our lives and with the people we let in. Because the devil and his demons is a whole lie, and they only come to kill, steal, and destroy our peace and happiness. And they will take our family down with them. And I'm just here to tell you how good God is. And I thank him for my peace, for my family's peace, because I know how bad it had got for us at one time. All on the sake of a narcissistic, demonic, toxic spirit that I have since then cut out of my life. Um, you know, so I just hope that y'all are able to receive this message with clarity and, you know, just please feel free to leave some feedback down below. I enjoy reading y'all comments. I like responding to the comments. I get to them as soon as I get time because I probably be at work. And even though I may be able to peek on my phone for a second, and see the comments. I may not be able to respond because we got bad service at work. And they shut the Wi-Fi down so we can't get on the Wi-Fi. And I just got bad service. And until I'm away like from the building and then my service will pick up. But of course, I'm not going to respond while I'm driving. Because once I leave there, I'm just focused on the road and getting home. So once I get time to respond to y'all, I will. And again, I just want to thank y'all for the support. And um, I just thank y'all for watching my videos. So if you all enjoyed this video and, you know, if you want to see more, please leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And please like, share, and subscribe. Feel free to share these videos. But as always, I want to thank y'all for watching and I'll talk to you soon.